Hello and welcome to Brazy SMTG. My name is Vyacheslav and today I show you my budget green Tax H Agro deck. Now you can see all spells in the main deck and it will be short deck tech video. At the start I tell you a little story about original archetype, not this one, and then show all cards in close and tell how it works. So let's go! Originally red and white Taxi Chagro is a very aggressive deck with combo out. It contains a lot of cheap ways to deal damage to opponent as little creatures, seven alliance, javeliners, iron club orcs, and little spells, lightning bolt, chain lightning, black vice. At the end it uses land tax and land sage combo to deal six or ten points of damage at the time and finish the game. It's very good budget deck, but I think it's not for me, so I find something more interesting. First time I see colorful Agra Edge deck, it was I think three years ago on the blog Baltimore Old School MTG. It was a story about Rainbow Edge deck with Rainbow Whale Land. I put link to the article in the description interest. And a year ago I see on the 10 points old school event the free color deck, similar to mine, but at the real not similar. It still contains green color, but not as important color, mostly as a splash for good creatures and Sylvan libraries. Good creatures, I mean cheap creatures, pixies. Mm. And it was good, it was work. So <laughs> I'm trying to build my free color version and it more mid-range maybe, but still aggressive. Now let's look at the deck and try to understand how it works. Let's start from the main part of the deck. It's combo and combo support. As you can see, mostly it's enchantments. First, one important card is the land tax. The deck have three copies. Land tax help you to find basic lands. At the beginning of your turn, if your opponent have more lands than you, you can find up to three basic lands. So it's like ancestral recall that draw you only lands. Second card and second part of the combo it's lands H. Card that contains many any words in the text, because at the any moment any player can discard any card from hand, and if it card will be land not only basic, any land, that player can choose any player to deal 2 points of damage. So sometimes you can deal 2 points of damage for land to yourself. As you understand, it's good combo with land tax. So you find basic lands, then drop it into opponent face. Also, interesting part that it's uh, Vault Enchantment. Many people forget about, but with your land sage you can destroy Abyss or something like this. Last time I played against Abyss, I think I forgot about. Deck have two copies of Lens Edge. Also, deck have four copies of Birds of Paradise. As you can see, Lens stacks work if your opponent have many lands and you have not so many. So it's better to use Mana Dorks or Moxons. I have not Moxons, so use Birds. Birds also good because can generate any color of mana and can block flying creatures. In this deck, you can sit on two lands each time if you have burden to play. About support, here we have uh, two copies of Blood Moon. Before, the deck was similar to Ernamgeddon and use Armageddon's. But at the time, I think Blood Moon is much more better if you have red color and way to play it. Because at the first, you can play Blood Moon on the second turn with help of the bird. And destroy game to many players that contains expensive mana base. And at the second you can't play Blood Moon anytime. Ernamgidon, Armageddon, I mean a card, needs a good time to play it, to have the profit. But Blood Moon can be played fast and still help you protect from Alexandria, Mission's Factories or Duels, <laughs> of course. Also that contains two Sylvan Libraries. Sylvan Libraries help to find your land stacks, Lens H, Blood Moon, 
Also, it's good combo with tax because you can look at your top decks, draw a good card, put at the top not good, on the next turn, shuffle your library with help of tax, and look at the three new cards. Very good. Go to creatures. Creatures is a little problem of the deck. By one side, it's very good, guys. But by a second, in most tax H aggro players have not 12 creatures, 16. Here we have only 12 creatures because need slots for different spots. But it's still good, guys, <laughs> and work. First one is a four copies of Savannah Lion. Savannah Lion cheap for one mana, can go to attack and can block Mishus Factories most of the time and good to trade. Second one is a Argo 10 Pixies. Very effective for my name at a game's card. It has protection from artifacts and the modern language. So you can block opponent's Jaggernauts or Triskelions. Triskelion can't kill Pixie and you can go attack throughout Mishus Factories block. And last but not least, creature is a Namjin. Biggest green creature. I mean, biggest green creature for 4 mana. <laughs> it's not like Force of Nature, of course. It's very good. In this deck, you can, as I said before, you can sit on two lands with Bird of Paradise. And if you draw a you can just play last third land and play a So it's not a big problem to cast him, and it's not provoke you to play a lot of lands in the real. Also, that contains some optional removal spells. It's four copies of Lightning Bolt that help you to kill little creatures, little blockers, and kill your opponent by direct damage into face, and four copies of Chain Lightning. It's similar to Lightning Bolt, but on the sorcery speed. It's a tricky moment when Chain Lightning, because when you play your Blood Moon, most opponents will have a lot of red lands, so can copy Chain Lightning to you. And sometimes it's dangerous to play it because you can lost creatures. At the same time, maybe you can play Chain Lightning to opponent and if he copied, you can copy it too again and deal 6 points of damage instead of 3. It's can be helpful. Last removal spell is a Disenchant that contains 3 copies in the main and it helps you to destroy enchantments and artifacts. That's what Disenchant do. Card very good. Last group of the spells is uh, Singletons. Here you can see the Soul Ring. It helps you to play Blood Moon on the second turn, like Birds of Paradise, and also it helps you to play Ernam Jin on the second turn and be very aggressive with big aggressive guy on the table. Second one is uh, Regrowth. Help you to return your combo parts from Graveyard and remove from Graveyard sometimes. And last card is a balance. The deck contains a lot of creatures and even Birth of Paradise as mana source, but balance still very good. At the first, you will not play a lot of lands, as I say, only two or three, so must leave the strap and lands with balance. Also, with lands edge, you can discard entire your hand to use balance like Mind Twist and discard open your hand. And of course, it's very good when you open and destroy all your creatures discard your hand and you top deck the balance to return to balance. Mana base is very budget, but in the case of this deck it's very good and important because you need to find a lot of basic land from your land tax. So it contains one strip mine. Not every game you will play Blood Moon on the second turn and sometimes you need some protection from Alexandria list, or you need to destroy mana base. Here we have four copies of City of Brass. Deck have three colors and it's a good way to stabilize. And of course basic lands. Seven forests, four mountains and six plains. Now let's go to sideboard. In this deck sideboard not only help you to fight against hate or popular archetypes, but also help you to transform into more mid-range and more Ernamgeddon-like version of the deck. With Armageddon and 
slot. As you can see here, we have the single avoid fade. I like this card very well. It can protect your combo enchantments from disenchant that the opponent cast. Four copies of swords to plot shares. Helps against big creatures. It's better to give your opponent land or life than give your opponent two lightning bolts and creature. Four copies of red elemental blast. Protect your deck against counter spells because control opponent will try to counter your combo. One disenchant, extra for main deck three copies. Two dust to dust. Deck trying to destroy opponent mana base, and it's a good idea to also destroy opponent artifact mana base. Mostly disenchant is a good way to do it, but if your opponent deck contains a lot of artifacts, like artifacts, creatures, and power, it's better to use cards like that to dust. And three copies of Armageddon. It's sometimes it's against decks that don't contain a lot of non-basic lands because Blood Moon can't uh, <laughs> destroy mana base of player that use mono deck. And sometimes it can be better against maybe artifact decks too because most of spells not colorful. So it's all that I want to tell you about green <laughs> tax edge aggro deck if you like this video please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and have a nice day